hello everyone we'll continue the topic in the previous video we wrote a query to fetch data from order header table based upon the input now our data is in internal table our data is in this internal table we have to bind our data whatever the data or output is there with this output fields with this output fields because this is our requirement based upon the input your data is in this internal table now from this internal table we have to bind the data with our output fields or output layout elements how we will do we know whenever we are passing a order number always single record will come into this internal table because you will pass a single order number and whenever you will pass a single order number from the order header table at a time the details of a single order number will come so we know if we are sure that only single matching record is coming so we can go for read table you can go for loop also no problem but that loop will continue only one time so it's your wish you want to go for read table or you want to go for loop so i will simply write read table internal table into work area and i know only single record is there so i will write index 1 if you are not comfortable in this way you can rather than writing this you can simply write that also loop at lt data into ls data and this loop will continue only one time because we know from the order header table if we are passing a single order number single record will come for that particular order number it's your wish how you want to proceed and i will go for read table statement i will write if size sub r c equal to 0 because it is always preferable that you should check for size sub r c condition after read table if this read table will be successful size sub r c will be equal to 0 which is a system variable which return our operation is successful or not now from the internal table you push the data to the work area now from the work area we have to bind the data with these four output elements now what is the name of these four output elements we will check in the layout itself so i'll simply go for the screen i will go for layout and if i double click you can simply see the name of this is table name hyphen column name 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 so these are our four names names of output fields names of output elements order header table hyphen order date order header table hyphen payment mode order header table hyphen total amount order header table hyphen currency so i will move the data to these technical names or these these output fields 
how to do this. I'll simply write, this is our order date is equal to LS data order. Similar process I will do for other columns. Order date, this is our payment mode. I'll simply write payment mode. Then we will write total amount. Then I will write total amount. And then I will write currency. C U R R. C U R R. C U R R. So from the work area, you pass the data to the screen elements. I'll check the syntax. It is saying these all are unknowns. Table name hyphen column name is unknown. For all the five things, I am getting an error. This is unknown. So I will simply import the table. I will double click on the program. And I will write tables, my order header table. Now I will check the syntax and you can see there is no syntax error. I will go to display mode and we will activate our full module pool program. So we wrote the logic on the submit button. We know on the submit button PAI event will call and we wrote the logic in the PAI of screen hunt. Now we will see in the debugging mode because debugging is the best way to learn. I will put a breakpoint and I will run this program. I will give the order number. Whenever I will click on the submit button, I know process after input of 100 called and this is the input which you gave based upon this input it fetched the data and you can see your data is in internal table from the internal table you passed it to work area and you can see these are the data in the work area. From the work area, you are passing it to screen fields. And you can see this is our order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. So our data binded with the screen variables. But if I will see here, we also have a logic to call the screen 200 because whenever you clicked on to navigate button at that time also PAI called. So if I will execute this, you can see I am on 200 screen, but that is not our requirement. Our requirement is Whenever user will give a input and click on submit button, we want the details to be here. The control should be on the same screen, same screen. But yes, whenever user will click on to this button, the control should go to screen 200 in that case only. How to handle this part? We will continue in the next video. Thank you.